At a news conference in Kumasi, the convener, Samuel Edututu, indicated that they will resist any attempt by government to review the allowances downwards. He also wants government to take urgent steps to ensure that the outstanding allowances for the last seven months are paid. The deliberate attempt by the government to cut down the allowance allocated to health interns, that's the diploma nurses and midwives, who are currently rendering service to the rotationers to the nation as part of the one-year mandatory national service. Despite the delay in paying us our service allowance for complete six months and now ending the seventh month. Prior to the press conference, the Honorable Minister of Health was petitioning alongside the Ministry of Finance the Director General of Ghana Health Service, the HR of MOH, as well as the all regional ministers across the country. The petition requested the government decision to reduce our service allowance should be reversed, of which they have failed to respond to within the one week ultimatum given. Some of the rotation nurses and midwives say life has become unbearable due to the delay in paying the allowances. It has been six, six, seven good months we have not received our allowances. And then it hasn't been easy on us because uh, um, we have been posted into a different regions. We don't know where about. We have rented and then we pay bills and then we have to take transportation and then come to work. So sometimes when you get to work and then you decide not to go because you don't have money on you, they are in charge decides to what, punish you and then like they be hard on you. So we are pleading with the government that the seven months allowances, we are pleading with him that he should pay all. In fact, the allowance it has been a problem to us. When you wake up in the morning, you have to go to your, your parents or anyone who, who can help you to take money from the person to go to work. So when the person doesn't have money, that means you can't go to work. You see, uh, what we need now is our money, the full amount, not installments. We just want our money in full and the right amount, the 12L and not the criminalized H1. We don't want that one. We want what is due us, please. They have threatened to embark on a massive nationwide demonstration if their concerns are not addressed. Yo, please, we know that the president, Mr. President, the Honorable Ekufuado, will listen to our plea, we know. But if, and if he doesn't listen there, we know the language the president understands, which is a general strike. After the strike, if still nothing happens, then we know the demonstration, it will be massive. It will be massive. We are giving the uh, government one week ultimatum. If not, the demonstration will, will be done. Because this is a, a nationwide conference that uh, we've done right now. So if not, we are giving them one week ultimatum. If not, you hear from us. Demonstration, massive one. For members in the Upper East region, aside from the delays in paying the allowances and the decision to review the allowances downwards, they also want issues related to their biometric registration and staff ID cards resolved. Abuzanga Michael is the Upper East Regional Secretary of the group. Look, we in Upper East, in fact, we have faced a lot of problems. Our staff ID has not been generated. Our biometric has not been done. We are sitting. We don't know our level now. The collision for rotation nurses and midwives are calling for the right arrears to be paid. And also, they are telling government not to take any decision to review the allowances downwards. They have also called on stakeholders within the health sector to help them in demanding for this. For City News, I am Edward Opon Marvel, Kumasi.